Hey y'all, hey, y'all know me, dropping in to spread a little tea, and you know how we do it, so let's get right into it. Y'all, this story is insane. This woman is literally begging this man to leave his wife for her. She's been his side piece for quite some time now, and she's saying she want a lot more than just a few hours that he spent with her. Check this out. I've never met your mom, your dad, nobody. So why would I leave my wife? Why would I do something like that? Like, that doesn't make sense. I, Me personally, I think everything is set up good enough. I see you for a few hours. You get what you need from me. You know what I'm saying? I get to go make some money. I help you with your bills. I take care of my bills at home. Everything is good. So why are you trying to mess up what's going well? I get lonely. When you're not here, I'll be lonely. Oh, my God. So which makes me probably have to entertain another dude or something. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So you need to figure. You need to figure something out. You need to figure something out. Cause I'm telling you, I need you. Here. I re I respect that. I ain't, look. I'm not. I'm not gonna say you wrong for you know entertaining nobody. I'm not gonna say that. Honey, your first mistake is leaving this choice up to this man that's already cheating on his wife. You're asking. You're telling him you're gonna have to do something. You're gonna have to do something because I get lonely. No. You need to do something. You need to, to look within yourself and figure out why it is you doing this. Why it is you settling for this? Catching feelings, and I hate when people do that. Don't change on me is what I'm asking you. Listen, don't, like, don't do that. I'm don't, not... don't do that. Do not change on me. We first started talking, everything was good. I'm not changing on you. I'm just simply saying that, babe, I'm lonely. You spending too much time over there. Do you not only know? Do you know um, the only time I see you is literally Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. It's like I'm a weekend chief. Do you not understand like how that made me feel so? Well, well, you in love with a man that's in love with you, but I got a wife. He's saying, "Don't change on me." Then this woman got the nerve to say, "You spending too much time over there." You mean he, he's spending too much time at home with his wife, his kids, his family? And then you say, um, you make me feel like I'm just a weekend chick. Honey, you a weekend chick, a side chick, a weak chick, and most importantly, not his chick. Like, what, do you, what, do you, what is wrong with these women? Got a wife, but we know we knew that. How you in love with me, but you won't leave her? Why I'm in love with her, too. Come on now. Leave your wow. family. Are you serious? You seriously asking me to leave my family? Are you serious? I mean, your kids can come over here, so leave your family. I'm leave not, her. I'm leave not, her. I love her. I'm, I Listen, I love my wife. I'm not. I don't even know where to start. This, <laughs> oh, Lord. See, this is, the, this is the mistake you women make. When you know the man is in a relationship or is married. That's not enough for you to say, no, I'm not going to do it. Some of you women still cross that boundary and decide to mess with that man. Now, that man put stipulations on what it is and what it's going to be. But what we always have to remember, what you women and men, men too, have to remember is when y'all lay down in bed, one person, somebody is getting out that bed with feelings. And more than likely, it's always that woman. So for him to think that, her emotions were not going to change is crazy. And for her to think that she was going to be okay being the weekend chick is even more insane. Now you want the lifestyle that you, you think you want the lifestyle that him and his wife have, but clearly you don't because he's doing the same thing. The same thing he's doing to her, he's going to do to you. And then you, you, you sat up there and said, Leave your family. The kids can come here. Nigga, I wish you would take my kids around your side piece. I mean, that, that I'm, I'm speaking from, from any woman's point of view. And he said, I'm in love with you. She said, how are you in love with me? But you won't leave her for me. He said, because I'm in love with her too. This man ain't in love with nobody but himself. He don't give a damn about you. And he don't, he don't give a damn about his wife. And he don't get a, give a damn about the effect that it will have on his kids if his wife found out. And one more thing before I, I go to another topic, because it's going to be a part two to this story, because this is pretty long. But what I would like to say is 
a lot of women, them side piece women, they look at these men and they spend time with these men and they get in the best side of these men because these men are not involved in real life with these women. At home with the wife is reality. It's bills. It's kids. It's responsibility. It's structure. It's arguments. It's stress. It's a whole lot of shit that goes into being in a marriage. So when that man, when that married man is over there with that side piece, that's his escape from real life. So that man that you land with, you're not getting that real man. You're not getting that authentic man. You, you're getting the man. He's playing a role for a few hours just so he can spend with you to take his mind off real life. And then he goes back home to reality. So that man you think you want is not the man you would end up with if he did choose you. Because, yes, everything seems and appear good because you're not mixed in life with this man try that before we get into this commentary look at this dude. will you uh fake uh will you uh will you take me to be uh <laughs> <laughs> will you uh yeah. will you uh will you uh, will you, uh, will you, uh I promise to be there <laughs> what they say I promise to be there to whatever that shit is you gonna put it on my finger mm -hmm. <laughs> you put it on your finger mm. what is Josh doing do y'all remember this? Whatever happened to her engagement, her engagement party, no, no talks about the engagement. Like what happened to all of that? They did it and it just went away. Do y'all remember this video where, um, Brianna, her and Robert were married at the time, but I guess he was so gun ho in the beginning of, well, the whole marriage, he was gun ho on not having any children that she went out and bought, a. uh, uh one of the reborn dolls and got upset with her audience because they was talking about people that go out and buy these dolls are crazy. But do y'all remember this? <laughs> Nicole, I'm just stating facts. Like they keep coming up here bashing people who have their stories. And I'm like, shut the fuck up because y'all having kids who y'all can't even take care of. I'm like, why y'all bashing people who want a doll? At least they're making the right decision and having a dog that they don't have to worry about taking to the doctor or filing for Medicaid or filing for food stamps or filing for child support because you got a deadbeat ass daddy. This child don't need a daddy. It's a dog. You don't have to buy nothing for it. You don't have to take it to the doctor. So it's like so funny to me that these people are bashing these people with their stories because it's just a dog. Meanwhile, you wait on Section 8. So I wish y'all stop trying to bash these people because I'm going to go in on you. Don't bash these people who use the doll for soothing or therapeutic, whatever they want it for. Stop bashing them because they make a right decision in paying for a doll versus having a real child that they can't take care of. Makes more common sense. Peggy, they stupid. See, Walt been sitting around like everything is cool and he know it's not. He know that his daughter has been struggling with some type of mental issues, allegedly. And he should have been gotten his girl some help because now it has morphed into something much bigger. Well, guys, that's all the commentary I have for now. As always, thanks for watching. I will talk to you shortly. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I upload a video. Don't forget to support your black owned businesses. Visit ours in the link below.